Hello guys, welcome to my channel. The Palace of Fine Arts that is in the Marina District of San Francisco, California is a monumental structure originally constructed for the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition in order to exhibit works of art. Completely rebuilt from 1964 to 1974, it is the only structure from the exposition that survives on site. The most prominent building of the complex, a 162 feet 49 meters high open rotunda, is enclosed by a lagoon on one side, and is neighboring a large, curved exhibition center on the other side, which is separated from the lagoon by colonnades. As of 2019, the Exhibition Center, one of San Francisco's largest single-story buildings, was being used as a venue for events such as weddings or trade fairs. Conceived to evoke a decaying ruin of ancient Rome, the Palace of Fine Arts became one of San Francisco's most recognizable landmarks. A renovation of the lagoon, walkways, and a seismic retrofit were completed in early 2009. The Palace of Fine Arts was one of ten palaces at the heart of the Panama Pacific Exhibition, which also included the exhibit palaces of education, liberal arts, manufactures, varied industries, agriculture, food products, transportation, mines and metallurgy and the Palace of Machinery. The Palace of Fine Arts was designed by Bernard Maybeck, who was tasked with creating a building that would serve as a quiet zone where exhibition attendees could pass through between visiting the crowded fairgrounds and viewing the paintings and sculptures displayed in the building behind the rotunda. Maybeck designed what was essentially a fictional ruin from another time, taking his inspiration from Roman and ancient Greek architecture, specifically Piranesi's etching of the remnants of the so-called Temple of Minerva Medica in Rome, and also from Bachland's symbolist painting Isle of the Dead. While most of the exposition was demolished when the exposition ended, the palace was so beloved that a palace preservation league, founded by Phoebe Apperson Hearst, was founded while the fair was still in progress. For a time the palace housed a continuous art exhibit, and during the Great Depression, WPA artists were commissioned to replace the decayed Robert Reed murals on the ceiling of the rotunda. From 1934 to 1942 the exhibition hall was home to 18 lighted tennis courts. During World War II, it was requisitioned by the military for storage of trucks and jeeps. At the end of the war, when the United Nations was created in San Francisco, limousines used by the world statesmen came from a motor pool there. From 1947 on the hall was put to various uses, as a city park department warehouse, as a telephone book distribution center, as a flag and tent storage depot, and even as temporary fire department headquarters. While the palace had been saved from demolition, its structure was not stable. Originally intended to only stand for the duration of the exhibition, the colonnade and rotunda were not built of durable materials, and thus framed in wood and then covered with staff, a mixture of plaster and burlap-type fiber. As a result of the construction and vandalism, by the 1950s the simulated ruin was in fact a crumbling ruin. In 1964, the original palace was completely demolished, with only the steel structure of the exhibit hall left standing. The buildings were then reconstructed until 1974 in permanent, lightweight, poured-in-place concrete, and steel I-beams were hoisted into place for the dome of the rotunda. All the decorations and sculpture were constructed anew. The only changes were the absence of the murals in the dome, two end pylons of the colonnade, and the original ornamentation of the exhibit hall. In 1969, the former exhibit hall became home to the Exploratorium Interactive Museum, and, in 1970, also became the home of the 966-seat Palace of Fine Arts Theatre. In 2003, the city of San Francisco along with the Maybeck Foundation created a public-private partnership to restore the palace and by 2010 work was done to restore and seismically retrofit the dome, rotunda, colonnades and lagoon. In January 2013, the Exploratorium closed in preparation for its permanent move to the Embarcadero. 
In 1992 and 1996, the popular U.S. game show Wheel of Fortune taped shows at the Palace for broadcast in the months of November. In April 2020, during the coronavirus pandemic, plans were announced to convert the Palace of Fine Arts into a temporary shelter for 162 homeless people. The decision was reversed shortly afterwards, following protests by residents of the neighboring wealthy Marina neighborhood and concerns that the lodging conditions would be inadequate. Today, Australian eucalyptus trees fringe the eastern shore of the lagoon. Many forms of wildlife have made their home here including swans, ducks particularly migrating fowl, geese, turtles, frogs, and raccoons. Built around a small artificial lagoon, the Palace of Fine Arts is composed of a wide, 1,100 feet 340 meters pergola around a central rotunda situated by the water. The lagoon was intended to echo those found in classical settings in Europe, where the expanse of water provides a mirror surface to reflect the grand buildings and an undisturbed vista to appreciate them from a distance. Ornamentation includes Bruno Zim's three repeating panels around the entablature of the rotunda, representing the struggle for the beautiful, symbolizing Greek culture. While Ulrich Ellerhusen supplied the weeping women atop the colonnade and the sculptured frieze and allegorical figures representing contemplation, wonderment and meditation. The underside of the palace rotunda's dome features eight large insets, which originally contained murals by Robert Reed. Four depicted the conception and birth of art, its commitment to the earth, its progress and acceptance by the human intellect, and the four, golds, of California poppies, citrus fruits, metallic gold, and wheat.